So the, the, the first question is from Lisa, and the question is, what causes non-healing wounds? And the answer to that is many of these wounds could be multifactorial. They could be from peripheral vascular disease. They could be from an underlying infection. They could be from some traumatic injury that didn't, that didn't heal or wasn't treated uh, to completion so that it could heal. It could be from folks that have some underlying uh, podiatric disorder where their, um, their gait or their weight bearing is not appropriate. So uh, the next question is, are there different types of chronic wounds? And uh, the answer is yes, there are many different types of chronic wounds. And it really depends on the etiology of, of the wound and um, what its underlying cause is. And I think when we see a patient with a wound, our goal is always to first understand why the wound is there and then how to best address the underlying cause and, and get the wound to heal either with wound care or some type of reconstructive surgery. The, uh, the most common types of wounds that we see uh, at, uh, at Penn in the uh, wound care center are uh, uh, ischemic wounds or wounds that uh, are uh, created by uh, minor trauma, which in a normal person wouldn't, uh, uh, wouldn't cause a problem, but in uh, someone who with impaired blood flow causes a non-healing uh, chronic wound. Uh, and then we see a lot of diabetic wounds. Uh, diabetes is a disease uh, which uh, impairs both the large arteries going to the uh, uh, extremity and to any part of your body, but also the small arteries. And so uh, people with diabetes, for any number of reasons, uh, tend to develop chronic wounds that are, which are very difficult to heal. So that's two of the classes of wounds that we see most often are uh, ischemic and diabetic wounds. And as Dr. Jackson alluded to, you know, diabetes is a huge epidemic, not just in Philadelphia, but across the country. And so what happens in diabetic folks as well is, unfortunately, they develop insensate feet, meaning they can't really feel anything. And so where we come into play, we evaluate the true underlying cause. And so if it's a combination of circulation and a structural problem, the foot is not adequately sound for pressure or they're not feeling any of the pressure where they step on something, whether they're barefoot or it goes through their shoe or if they have some type of traumatic injury, uh, they can certainly develop a wound and oftentimes not know it's even there. And so um, when we see these patients pretty quickly, we can get them reconstructed in a, in a very quick fashion. Al, I think <clears throat> our next question is, why are people with diabetes at an increased risk for foot sores? And this question is from Ellen. And so, Ellen, you know, I think the answer is really a combination of blood sugar. Uh, after a certain period of time, elevated blood sugar really causes the body to develop the toxic form of the sugar called sorbitol. And basically, you can only get rid of that extra sugar so fast so it lays on top of the smallest blood vessels, those in your toes. It can also affect your eyes. It can certainly affect kidneys and other organs. And so it's not just high sugar. And when that happens, it damages the blood vessels that Dr. Jackson does a fantastic job at reconstructing. And then on top of that, it, blood vessels lay directly next to the nerves. And so those nerves are also damaged as well. And as I alluded to earlier, those nerves once damaged, they're sometimes, if not all the times, irreversible. And uh, you can't really feel when you're walking on certain areas of the, of the terrain, or if you're in the beach, for example, if the sand may be too hot, you can develop a burn. That next thing you know, you have this long-standing wound that just goes unnoticed for quite some time. And then uh, di people with diabetes also have impaired uh, ability to, um, to fight infections. So a lot of diabetic foot wounds and other diabetic wounds, uh, whether uh, pressure ulcers or otherwise, that occur in people with diabetes, um, uh, they, uh, we have trouble healing those wounds or the patients have trouble healing those wounds because their uh, response to infection is impaired. And so they oftentimes need uh, antibiotics or hyperbaric oxygen therapy or all sorts of other uh, modalities of treatment which we have at our uh, disposal um, at, the, at the Penn Center.